Good morning and Shabbat Shalom to everyone. This week's Torah portion has the most important commandment in the Torah, love your neighbor as yourself. But what I find very interesting is that the Torah portion is filled with laws and regulations and rules of how to treat and not treat our fellow man. And our Rabbi Akiva is the one who says that love your neighbor as yourself is the most all-encompassing principle of the Torah. Meaning to say that if you love your neighbor as yourself, obviously you won't cheat and you won't lie and you won't steal and you won't speak gossip about them. So the Torah is delineating all the details of the general rule of the whole Torah, which is to love your neighbor as yourself. But what the Torah is teaching us is a very important lesson. A lot of times people say love conquers all. But the Torah says that love alone is not enough. Love has to come with guidelines. Love has to come with discipline. Love has to come with details, rules, and regulations. Because love in itself does not conquer all. Because if we do not treat each other properly, even if we claim to love our fellow man as a self, the love is in the details. It's in the way we act and speak about our fellow man. This Sunday is Mother's Day, and this is Mother's Day weekend. And a lot of times people talk about mother love and smother love. Yes, mothers love their children as fathers love their children. But the Torah in the Ten Commandments says, honor your father and mother. It doesn't say love your father and mother. It doesn't say love your children. Because the basis for love is respect. When we treat our parents with honor and respect, and they discipline us in return to be respectful and good children, then the love will come naturally. But if you start with love and you don't have the discipline and you don't have the laws and the respect of parents, then the love will not be meaningful and true love. And that's why Jewish law doesn't just say love your parents, but says honor them. And there are detailed laws in the code of Jewish law, like never contradicting your parents, never sitting in their seat, never interrupting them because love has to be more than just love it has to be a love that's founded on respect discipline and rules and regulations and indeed often parents want to be their children's friends not really realizing that their children have enough friends what they need are parents that they can look up to and respect and parents have to realize that their role is to teach their children how to be good, kind, respectful human beings, starting at home with their parents, but then translating that and expanding that to every single human being that they meet, fulfilling the commandment of this week's Torah portion to love your neighbor as yourself, but all encased in a Torah portion filled with civil laws of how to love your fellow man through your actions, through your words, and through your deeds. There's a story told about a rabbi who once got up at a Shabbat sermon and talked about loving your neighbor as yourself. And at the end of the sermon, he said, I want to ask everyone in this community, in the congregation, to forgive their enemies right now. And if he said, if you're ready to forgive all your enemies, raise your hand. And about half the congregation raised their hand. So the rabbi went on for another 10 minutes about forgiveness and loving your neighbor as yourself. And then he said, please, who's willing to forgive their enemies and now three quarters of the congregation raised their hand and finally the rabbi went on for another 10-15 minutes about loving your neighbor as yourself and forgiving your enemies and then he said who's willing to forgive their enemies and everyone in the congregation raised their hand except old mrs goldberg who was 103 years old and the rabbi said mrs goldberg why are you the only one of the congregation who refuses to forgive her enemies and mrs goldberg said i'll tell you the truth rabbi i don't have any enemies the rabbi said that's amazing you live to 103 years old and you don't have one single enemy in the world? How could that be? And old Mrs. Goldberg said, well, Rabbi, I outlive them all. The Torah tells us, love your neighbor as yourself. And yes, love and respect for our parents, for our mothers, our fathers, and for our fellow man will ultimately trump and outlive everything else. It's the most important principle in Judaism. Have a wonderful Shabbat.